Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Shane, also known as Stay Too Quiet. And I just want to go ahead and talk to y'all about my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, listen, I know this may offend some of y'all. I know it may make y'all mad. I know a lot of people ain't gonna like this. But I just wanna let you know God loves you, bro. Jesus loves you. And the fact that we can sit here together Watch this video. You watching this video of me trying to spread the message. It's powerful. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that you woke up today. I'm grateful through all your trials, your tribulations, your, your addictions, your attempts. Your failed relationships All of that You're still here You're still here And when everybody said That you wasn't going to be here You wasn't going You wasn't going to be a success You wasn't going to be this You wasn't going to be that you, you know You may have listened to them Or you may have not But the fact of the matter is You're here today and today could start a whole brand new beginning for you. Or it could just be a daily reminder. God loves you. Jesus loves you. Let's start off with this. Jesus died on the cross. Nobody believed that Jesus Christ was the Son of God. Nobody. And so they nailed him to a cross And he died for all sins Not past sin Not present sin Not future sin But all sin You know what I'm saying? That one man That one man Did that for all of us He did that for all of us before we even knew. And God created the earth for us to live on, to experience life. But he didn't make life easy. There's a lot of temptation. There's a lot of sin. There's a lot of bad things out in the world. And I and I ain't no judge. I'm not I'm not a person to judge you on what you have done. I'm not. I am not. I am not a person to judge anybody based off what they have done. You could have lied, you could have cheated, you could have stole. You could have done a lot. A lot of a lot of bad things. I know I've done a lot of bad things and I re I repent. And how I repent is I pray. I get down on my knees. I hold my hands together and I close my eyes. And I say, Dear Heavenly Father, I'm sorry for what I have done. I hope you will forgive me. And I tend to do better in the future. In Jesus' name, amen. See, I can say something as simple as that. I don't have to go over the top. I don't have to try to be fancy. 
Because God loves me just the way I am. You know what I mean? God loves you just the way you are. God created us. And you know, I don't know much about the Bible. I ain't gonna lie. I, I can't even recite one verse. But I have a Bible. I plan to get into it. I listen to worship music. I like I, I I like worship music. I praise God when I li- when I listen to worship music. <sighs> See, like, let me tell y'all a story. It's a story I already heard on this on this page on this YouTube channel and I said I almost died in the hospital back on November 19th 2022 I was hospitalized for 11 days in there in every room that I got sent into after I woke up, there was a cross on the wall. Jesus was with me every single step of that way. God was with me every single step of that way. You know what I'm saying? God said he was not done with me. There's times when I'm alone, I could be watching a TikTok. I could be watching, I could be listening to worship music and I could be praying or I could be simply making a gratitude post on Facebook saying what I'm grateful for and I feel a presence. I feel someone hugging me, whether it be God, whether it be Jesus, I feel them hugging me. You know what I'm saying? I know that's the Holy Spirit. I know it is. And I feel like the Holy Spirit right now is telling me to spread this message. I want you to know God is not mad at you. God is not mad at you. I promise you that. I promise you God is not mad at you. Through all your trials, all your tribulations, everything. Everything that you ever done. Even if you, even if you even said, F God. Even if you mocked Christianity. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how forgiving God is. That's how forgiving Jesus is. I already told you what Jesus did for us. God God created the earth. One thing I do know. As Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist at Jordan River. I know that. And listen, a lot of people, I don't know. I don't want to say this because I told you I'm not one to judge. But there are going to be some people. That go into heaven and see Jesus. And that might be the one time they see Jesus. And Jesus might say, Depart from me. I never knew you. I may even hear that. I hope I don't. But but then again I ain't perfect I don't think God expects us to be perfect I just I think God expects us to be human beings And learn from our mistakes 
I made mistakes. I had a drug and alcohol addiction. And I can say proudly to you that I'm nine months sober today. Nine months and a couple of days. Nine months and 11 days to be exact. At the time of this recording. I just want you to know. That whatever you're going through. Whatever. People are dragging you down. Whatever sin. You may commit. Jesus will forgive you. And just because Jesus forgives you, that does not mean keep on sinning and keep on sinning and keep on sinning and keep on sinning. That's not what that means. It means Jesus gave you grace and you do with it whatever you decide to do with it. I'm never ever going to commit adultery again. I'm never ever going to commit blasphemy again. But if I do, if I do, if I slip up, and if I realize I slip up, repentance. I ask Jesus to forgive me. You know what I mean? And that's all you got to do is just ask Jesus to forgive you. And if you don't know Jesus, I advise you to open up your heart. Not a book. Open up your heart. And admit that Jesus saved you. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. You know. Christianity. Has been lied. People have twisted. The narrative of Christianity making it as this thing with a whole bunch of rules and all this. Christianity is a lifestyle. I'll tell you that right that right there. Christianity is a lifestyle. Waking up, getting in the word, praying, repenting. Even if you got nothing to repent for. Like, even if you got nothing to repent for, you can still repent. Because, like, if you feel like you got nothing to repent for, but you don't realize you did something that's in need of repentance, just repent. You know what I'm saying? That's all you got to do is repent. You got to pray. You got to repent. Put on, put on a worship song, man. I like Brandon Lake. I like Maverick City Music. I like... I like a lot. I like this one song. It's called The Story I'll Tell. I don't know exactly who's who it's by. But it's... But it's a really catchy song. You know what I'm saying? I like that. You know? And even if I see something in Christianity. That I don't like. That I don't agree on. That's okay. Because we have 
our disagreements. And that's completely fine. It's completely fine to have a disagreement. But it's not okay to turn away from God. It's not okay. You know what I'm saying? Just because of that one disagreement. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I could go on forever and ever and ever. I just want to say, let's close out with a prayer. How about that? You ready? Three, two, one. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day, this early morning at two o'clock at night where I am at currently. I thank you for the person across the screen from me who may not know you and wants to get to know you. I thank you for them. I thank you for the people that already know you. I thank you for the people. I thank you for the people that are suffering right now. And you have your you have your hand on them and your heart and your mind and your soul and your body all connected to them. So that they can live a better life. Lord, I thank you for the blessings that you have put in my life and many others. I thank you for allowing me to have multiple people inside of my life. I thank you for not making me think that I need a chemical in my body to function. I thank you for your forgiveness. I thank you for your salvation. I thank you for everything. I thank you for your son dying on the cross for for. All sin, including mine. I thank you for making me the man that I am today. I thank you for me being 20 years old and not falling into temptation of the crowd and what they are doing and how they are living their lives. And I'm great I get to live my life on my own and not try to fit in to a certain to a certain type of people. I hope that the person across the screen and me, when that's when this time comes, that I that I and the person across my screen and multiple people across the world who don't even see this video get to go into your righteous kingdom that's called heaven. I thank you for the blessings you have bestowed on multiple people right now. I thank you for everything. Lord, I'm grateful for you. I appreciate you. I admire you. I respect you. And I just want you to know I love you. Love you, son. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope to do more videos like this as soon as I get more knowledge about the Bible. Talk to you guys about some of, some of the verses and find out what they mean. This is the type of content I'm going to create now. And... If you do not like it, that's completely fine. I'm not mad at you for not liking it. Neither is Jesus. You can go ahead and click that unsubscribe button. And it was nice knowing you. I hope to see you one day in heaven. God bless you guys. Having a wonderful day night, day, whatever time you're watching this video, enjoy it. I love you guys. Peace.